Hi, it's Dwyer. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. Today is Sunday, April, excuse me, <laughs> August the 15th, 2021. Let's talk boxing. But remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now let's talk about the one disaster fight I had last night. Guillermo Rigondeau versus John Casimiro, right? Casimiro won the fight. Unfortunately for me, he did not do it in the first nine and a half rounds. He did so by split decision. Also, I had a hedge. Guillermo Rigondeau had a plus 165. Unfortunately, Rigondeau did not win the decision. Right? He lost a split decision. So this fight, betting-wise, was a complete loss for me. I just want to be clear. But let's just point out a few things. The pattern of the fight was that Casemiro's on his front foot. Rigondeau is on his back foot throwing a perfunctory right jab. He's a southpaw. He has his left hand cocked for counters. Now, when you're a defensive wizard, I believe it's imperative that you understand the crowd. You understand the visual. It's not enough to just be outside surviving, right? Making the other guy miss. That's not enough to win a decision, right? You also have to understand, too, and I believe this is important, that boxing is entertainment. Fans have shown up to see action, right? Great defense is great if it's married to some offense. If you have close to no offense, that's a problem. Rigondo at 40 has reached the point in his career where he's like Miles Davis, the great jazz musician, who got so deeply into his art that he started doing concerts with his back to the crowd. I'm not sure if Rigondeau understands that there was a crowd watching the fight. He hardly threw any punches. <clears throat> Understand, he was outside against a normally offensive champion. And the champion's trying to walk up to him, trying to get him to fight. Rigondeau is overdoing the lateral movement. Look, I love lateral movement. I love great defense. But it has to be part of an entertaining fight. Rigondeau is just moving laterally, not doing much. So understand, this fight is historical. Because never in the history of CompuBox has so few punches been landed in a 12-round fight. Understand how bad it was, folks. Rigondeau lands 44 punches, according to CompuBox, over 12 rounds. Casimiro, who's normally offensive, lands 47 punches over 12 rounds. Let's add the two together. 44 and 47 equal 91 punches. In other words, the average round in this fight had less than 10 punches landed. Now forget the histories of the fighters. Just understand that Rigondeau was trying to take the other man's title. In boxing, you got to beat the champ to take his belt. Here, Rigondeau tried to do so averaging less than four landed punches per round. I believe the right guy won. Let's also criticize boxing here. Someone has to. Now, I can tell you that the whole time I watch boxing, until recently, if you hit a guy and that punch caused the guy to go to the canvas or to take a knee. Or if you maneuvered a guy into a position where 
to avoid getting hit with shots. The guy took a knee. That was counted as a knockdown. Now, I don't know what the ref here is doing. I don't. But it's clear that Rigondeau gets cornered up against the ropes. I believe this happens in the first round. It's very early in the fight. And he takes a knee. He's on the canvas. That's the one knocked down in the fight. Or was it? The referee then waves off the knockdown. Somebody in the comment section of this video tell me what the hell is going on in boxing. Folks, if that's not a knockdown, I don't know what is. Right? It's clear that the champ gets Rigondeau in a vulnerable position, lands a shot, then Rigondeau either intentionally or unintentionally finds himself with a knee on the canvas. Folks, there's no slip. There is no way that that could be interpreted as a slip. I understand while Rigondeau has a knee on the canvas, Casimiro hits him a couple of times in the head. That's fine. You don't take away the knockdown. He has a knee on the canvas before he's hit while on the canvas. If you want to penalize Casimiro, warn him or take a point away. But there is no decision tree where on those facts the referee gets to wave off a valid knockdown. Well, let me just say, obviously this wasn't the most action-packed fight. But I'm glad that Casimiro won the fight because, as I see it, he got the only knockdown in the fight. Also, you don't win the championship. When you fight a champion, you go 12 rounds, and you only land 44 punches. And you don't get any knockdowns. Right? I'll forgive the 44 punches over 12 rounds if you knock the other guy down two or three times. Okay. Or even once. Then I'll see the method to the madness. Then I'll look at the scorecards and I'll say, well, you know, he did land some shots. Here, Rigondeau has reached the point where he doesn't even feel that it's necessary to throw punches. And, of course, the problem was this was in a fight where his knee ends up on the canvas in the first round. Let me just say this, too. And I know Rigondeau, still a defensive wizard. I'm not here to say otherwise. Right? A lot of lateral movement in this fight. Right? A lot of it. But if he's going to be this slow in terms of output, then he can't fight this aggressive an opponent. Right? Understand, Casimiro is looking for him all 12 rounds. Right? Casimiro's on his front foot hoping that Rigondeau stops moving. So let's talk about the future of both guys. Rigondeau needs to fight a more stationary opponent than this. Right? If he's only going to pot shot, if he's only going to throw a few good straight left counters, then he has to do so against a guy who doesn't make it obvious to the judges that Rigondeau doesn't want to engage otherwise. Right? He has to do so against a guy who doesn't have the energy level to follow Rigondeau around the ring for 12 rounds trying to make the fight happen. Right? No, Rigondeau needs to fight someone like Nanito Denier again. Right? Someone who's going to be around the pocket. Someone who's not going to move that much. Who's not going to be that aggressive. Because his style right now doesn't work against an aggressive fighter. Right? I thought the judge who gave the fight to Rigondeau was simply ridiculous. This is not how you win a belt. Right? So Rigondeau needs to reevaluate. He's lost sight of the fact that he's in the entertainment business. 
that there's a crowd there actually expecting to see some engagement. More offense than less than four landed punches per round on average in a 12-round fight by him. Now, as for Casimiro, let's face it. It's one thing to be bothered by lateral movement, but to be bothered this much, especially when your opponent is in his 40s, clearly Casimiro is a guy who needs an opponent who's more stationary because the lateral movement bothered him that much. For the record, he landed less than four punches per round. And it wasn't like Rigondeau was being unpredictable with the movement, right? So let's just say this was a low action fight, and that's an understatement, right? Low action fight. I believe the right guy won. I believe Rigondeau in his 40s needs to do more if he's going to take an aggressive champion's title. This was a missed opportunity for him. Finally, the referee, look, we all make mistakes. We all make mistakes. But let's just say this is a disturbing trend, right? There's another fight that happened last night. We'll talk about that in a separate video. Virgil Ortiz gets hit with a brutal shot is clearly affected by the shot, tries to hold on and can't. He ends up falling to the canvas. Now, my understanding of the sport is if you fall to the canvas because of a punch, that's a knockdown. Well, let's just say the referee in the Rigondeau fight and the referee in the Virgil Ortiz fight have a different interpretation. Folks, this is ridiculous. Hurt fighters who end up on the canvas because of punches have been knocked down. The sad thing is that it's happening so often that Mean Machine, the guy in the Virgil Ortiz fight, had this very thing happen to him in the Terrence Crawford fight, where he hits Crawford hard, Crawford is dazed and confused, ends up on the canvas. And we're somehow to believe that that's not a slip. Also, the Ugas, Sean Porter, 12th round, where Ugas clocks Porter, who then immediately hits the canvas, and they call that a slip. Right, let's hope the boxing commissions quietly engage in continuing education of these referees. And let's make sure the referees understand that when you have a situation like this Casimiro fight, where Rigondeau is outmaneuvered, right? He finds himself up against the ropes. Then he gets hit with a shot and he decides to take a knee. Folks, that's a knockdown. You had one knockdown in this fight unofficially. I believe the right guy won. I'm sorry. I am just not prepared to take away a man's title. When he stands up, goes 12 rounds, is the active fighter, is pursuing the other guy who throws, excuse me, who lands less than four punches on average per round. I congratulate Casimiro on his win. Bad bet for me, right? Betting loss. But I salute the winner on a successful title defense. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.